Hello, doll family, and especially Abby fans, Abby Bonable. I'm going to do a little review and comparison to her original on two Abbeys, but we'll start with this one. I'll explain the rest after. This is Party Ghouls, um, Abby Bonable, a very more recent Abby, which I was delighted to find while I was getting some girls' trees at Walmart. Actually, I don't think I even seen her until I seen her on the shelf, which was pretty exciting. Without Grace doing all the research for me now, my information on upcoming dolls is really lacking these days. These days, So you can pause that if there's anything you want to see in specific. I do like the Venus, some kind of E on the Rochelle, but she's definitely cute. And um, yeah, if you want to see any of that, just slow that down. Simple box, no stand, of course. And um, she just is what she is. And uh, I love these blue lips right off the bat. Okay, let me get her out of the box. These new ones are, whoops, really easy to get out of the box. And uh, the boxes, unfortunately, are not a collector handy for reboxing afterwards. So look at this face. <laughs> that bluish colored lips are awesome. I think her makeup is fabulous. It's uh, lighter, yeah, enough for Abby. It works for me. And uh, let's just have a little bit of a look of her at her her hair. Pretty. Now tinsel. I will say it's probably about the lightest I've ever seen an Abby doll in terms of thickness of her hair. Um, pretty little necklace going on there. The dress is wonderful. I love that it's edged right here the way it is with that type of hem. That's neat. Here's her purse. These little things come off and there's a pack of them as well that there's little holes all around that you can clip them on. They're a little tough to get in there. I don't know how well they stay. They seem like they have quick losing capacities. Here's some more holes in her boots to put those in. And that is her fabulous ice chiseled see-through boots. I love that detail of her rather see-through look on most of her feet accessories. The dress is all one piece. That latch is there and I can't, it doesn't look like it latches there. It just wraps around her neck. Very cute, very pretty. I honestly don't know much about what this line is for. If it's a released line or a webisode or a show, I don't know. But it's cute and it's heavy. I have to have it. <laughs> That's pretty much what sums it up. What do you think about her? Especially, I know got Abby fans, and well, any fan of any doll can be very particular about how they feel about the reboot dolls. Um, I'm doing okay with these ones. So, a little extra to this is this is Monster High. Welcome to Monster High, Abby, which I got a long time ago, and you've seen in Abby's Ice Mountain in the elevator. And as I was looking through old videos, trying to catch up and get my bearings on things I realized I had started a review on this and didn't finish it so I'm going to put that beginning portion that shows the packaging at the end of this video but I thought why not put these together it's it's Abby Day and uh, show them together wonderfully and then I'll compare these next all of them together with the original so she was welcome monster high has a mask theme I haven't yeah no no we did see the video on that one okay yeah we did okay she's got some cuffs I can't remember these stories. I'm so busy doing projects that my brain is not taking it in. I love the little layers. She's got definitely original Abby essence. And um, she reminds me of the homemaker one a little bit. What do you all think about her? I like her. Love the glitter tinsel in her hair. Boots, the usual see-through. They kind of remind me of another. Was it Coffin Bean 2? Um, if you're a true Abby fan and this is your first time finding us, I will put a link right up here or in a card and a link where previous to these, um, I showed all the Abbeys we had, which I've been keeping up with them. So, so far we still have every single one. Okay. Well, what do you think of this one? Welcome Monster High. This belt doesn't stay down very well. Actually, that looks better when you push it down because then her dress doesn't look so fluffy. I kind of like that. All 
right, that is our second Abbey. And now let's have some comparison in looking at these two newer ones with the original. When I look at all of these together, like the original with the newer ones, which are considered reboots, um, I think she's, well, maybe I'm partial, of course, because I have Bismo Favsky, but um, I'm definitely not crushed by this change. Um, she still holds on to a lot of her original thing. It just works for her because she's such a fierce character <laughs> and such a stoic personality that these looks actually work for her bodies and all that is pretty much the same although I think this might be different so you know she's always so legged up I'm not sure about that I'll have to check that later but it never shows in the shoes hardly ever anyway so that's not a disappointment her hands are the same her body's the same her um jawbone is mostly the same now her eyes are bigger the lips are just painted different on them and that works for me because you know we shape our lips differently with makeup the move on that eh, that's all right but the eyes are not like I said horrible for her I'm okay with it how do you feel about it um, it's hard for some of us to accept some of these but some I don't mind her eyes remind me because they're so much bigger of like when somebody says the wrong thing and you just sit there and you say nothing and your eyes boing right open and you're thinking oh what did they just say inside that's what they look like but she kind of always is kind of fierce and brash so that kind of works for her i do miss the tinsel and the hair a little bit i gotta say but still at least they kept some different colors and her peppermint candy look and stuff so that's how I feel about the Abbeys and um, she is definitely the one that for the most part no matter what I'm gonna probably get her because I adore her all right on to the backtracking for her review that was done months ago <laughs> enjoy hello jammers welcome back to super buddies forever we have another little monster high doll review guess who it is have you guessed yet <laughs> yeah that was kind of dumb wasn't it well anyway it's Abby and I'm excited to show her she's probably gonna be the last review we do for a while you've probably already seen her in our um, monster high doll room video I wanted to wait till after it's my intention to wait till after so we have a little bit of surprise in there because she's going in a spot that was dedicated for somebody else but her big tall hair did not fit. So, and then this worked out all right. It took me forever to find her. I had so much troubles between her and the Monica of Dance the Friday Away challenge, but it happened. So let's open her up, have a closer look at her. She is a reboot. I'm not too fond of reboots, but Abski's, Abby is, Abski is my fave ski. <laughs> so um, I had to keep with the tradition of having all of her. Okay, let me open her up. I am too beautiful to ride snowmobile. I just sit and look beautiful and stare at Abby. Mm -hmm. See you next time. <laughs> 